Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1242. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have this huge data set control down arrow, so like 3,000 plus records, all sorts of different countries, all sorts of different measurements. For So for Afghanistan, we have all sorts of different measurements. And then we have from 1970 all the way to 2013. That's a lot of data, but we only want these countries, and those are listed in a cell separated by commas. We only want the years 2000 to 2010, and we only want the gross domestic product number for each one of those desired countries. Now, actually, if you go over to the sheet notes, Mr. Excel and I did our dual number 174. And we looked at advanced filter and power query for solving this exact problem. But I want to come over here and show you text to columns, match function, and just straight filter. Now, the first thing is, when I, if I were to filter this, I could put a filter here and check each one of the individual items. But that's way too many. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to break this comma separated list out into separate cells. So I'm going to use data. And then over here, text to columns or the keyboard Alt-A-E, delimited by a comma. So when I say comma right here, I can already see there's some trouble. There's a space. Now, I could do space, but uh -uh, that won't work because out here there are some countries that have a space, and it would break those two words apart. So I'm actually going to have to do this in two steps, comma, and when I click Finish, boom, instantly I have those broken out into cells. Now I'm going to get rid of the extra spaces by using my favorite haircut function, Trim. Now actually, when I Control Enter and copy this over, Trim will actually remove all spaces except for single spaces between text. So that's exactly what we want. Now I'm going to insert one, two, three columns, because I want to ex eventually extract and put the data below this data set. So I'm going to insert. And then I'm going to copy. Notice there's the trim function there. Control, Shift, right arrow, Control, C. And now I'm going to arrow just to jump over here. And I want to jump down to the bottom, set Control, down arrow. And then somewhere off to the side, like right here, I'm not going to paste or transpose. I'm going to go up to Home and up to the Paste Special. Or I can use Control-Alt-V to open up Paste Special. And what I want is I want to transpose it because it was horizontal and I need it vertical. But I also want to say Values Only. Click OK. There is my list. I'm going to type Countries, Control-B to add some bold, Control-Home to jump to cell A1. Now remember, we need to get the countries, GDP, and the right year. So I'm going to start off by adding a separate column. Countries, Control Enter, Control B, and I'm going to make a formula here. I'm going to use the match function. Match function can look something up. I want to look up that country name, comma, look up array, click in that cell, Control Down Arrow, Down Arrow, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 to lock it. Those are the countries I want, comma, zero, because I'm doing exact match. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Now double click and send it down. That gives me the relative position of whatever the country is in the list. So Argentina is the first item in that list down here. F2, I want to see a true when there's an actual number. So I say is number. Is number will return true when there's a number and false when there's not. Now I can populate this edited formula all the way down with Control and Enter. Now I'm going to turn on the Filter feature, Control-Shift-L. Now the filter will only work on this column and this column. These other columns will have to do something else. I'm going to start here, come up, unselect all, and select Gross Domestic Product only. Click OK. Now actually, I'm going to scoot this off to the side because I don't think you'll be able to see it unless I go like this. Now I can select just the true, click OK. The data set is almost there, Control Down Arrow. So we have just a few records here, the exact number of countries you want. Highlight the columns. I'm actually going to delete everything all the way over to 1999. Right click, Delete. And then I don't want 
the last three columns, highlight Q to S, right click and delete, and boom, almost done. Control asterisk to highlight everything, Control C to copy just the visible records. Now I'm going to come down here and insert a new sheet and write in cell A1, Control V to paste. I'm coming down with the Smart tag, pointing to Keep Source Column Widths. Now I don't need C and A columns, so I'm going to click on C and then hold Control and click on A, right click Delete. I still need to, and I'm going to use Control and Roll to zoom out a little bit. And I'd like to highlight and display the numbers inside differently. I want to show them in millions. So Control 1, and we're going to come down to Custom. And look at that. There's the number formatting to show the full numbers with commas. But if you come to the end and type a comma, watch what happens to the display. It's as if we divided by 1,000. If I type another comma, it's as if we divided by a million. Now the underlying number is still in the cell over here. It's just displayed in millions. When I click OK, boom, that's looking much better. Now I'm going to highlight the actual field names at the top for years. These are stored as numbers, so we can use custom number formatting because we need to indicate that these are in millions. Control 1, down to custom. I'm going to highlight and put a 0 just so I show the number. In double quotes, space M and N double quotes. So that'll indicate that it's in millions. Come down, click OK. Now I'm going to right click and insert two rows above. Insert, go back over to the original sheet, Control Home, because this is an important label. Control C. Actually, it'll be our title in essence, Control V. So GDT breakdown at constant 2005 prices in US dollars, all countries. So now we have the indicator up here that this is constant 2005. US dollars, and there's the M. Now we have a few more things we'd like to do. Let's add a border right below the field names. Control 1 on borders. I'm going to select that one. And that we want this at the bottom, so I'm going to click right at the bottom there and click OK. Now I'd like to alternate white and blue columns. So I'm going to highlight this first one home over to the fill bucket and white. Now for the numbers I want. Blue, white, blue, white. So I'm going to color this one blue with fill, maybe this light one. And because this is number formatting, and I'd like to use the Format Painter, I'm going to fill this one with white. And now I can highlight both of them. And I want to copy just the formatting and paste it multiple times. So right click and on the mini toolbar, there's that Format Painter. I'm going to double click it, and it actually copies just the formatting so I can click and click. Notice that paintbrush. It is loaded up. If you accidentally click up here or down here, it'll misapply it. Click. Oh, and I'm one off. Watch this. I'm going to click here. Boop. I don't need that. I want to first turn off the paintbrush, so Escape, and then Highlight. And luckily, we have Remove Everything formats and just contents. That, of course, is delete. I'm just going to say remove all. Now a few housekeeping things left. I definitely don't want this text centered, so I'm going to highlight that first column. And up under alignment, I'm going to say, hey, give me left. And then all of these numbers I definitely want to the right. And now if we Control P to see how this would print out, it's going to print out real messy across many pages. Escape, Page Layout, and up to the dialog box. Right there, the dialog launcher or Alt PSP. I'm simply going to say landscape fit to one page. Now, this might not work. I might have to come back and fix this. Margins, let's say horizontally. Header and footer, you know, I like this one a lot, but we only have one page. If you had more, you could use that. I'm going to come over to custom footer and I can put whatever I want. I'm going to click in the middle and put Sheet name. Now our sheet name down here is probably not a very good sheet name, but if we change it down here, that will update. Click OK, click OK, Control P. That preview is not telling us the truth. That will print out OK. So I'm going to click Escape. Wow, that was amazing. We went from a huge data set on the sheet, 1242, did text to columns, trim, match, and some filtering, dumped it here, and then did some formatting. All right, we'll see you next trip.